the Mexican government is using video of homeless people and open-air drug users in Philadelphia's embattled Kensington neighborhood in a national ad campaign to try to scare young people away from drugs. The spots never identify the city or neighborhood shown, but just how or why the Mexican government decided to use street scenes from the US to scare Mexicans who have their own drug problems is not clear. Critics say the ads recycle scare tactics about drugs rather than offer help or treatment. The use of the videos, apart from sparking concern over Philadelphia's image, or whether those filmed had given their consent, raise questions, in part because Mexico is the source of most of the fentanyl being sold in the United States. In one spot presented Tuesday entitled Crystal Meth, a Spanish-speaking narrator says, in a voiceover above scenes of drug users shaking or contorting along trash-strewn Kensington Avenue, crystal meth finishes you off quickly. It takes away hunger and tiredness and causes hallucinations and psychosis. It damages the body and mind. The Philadelphia Mayor's Office acknowledged the drug problem, but said it is not limited to one city or neighborhood, and noted that all people are capable of hope, healing, and resilience. The opioid and overdose crisis in Philadelphia is part of a national and even international epidemic. And we agree it is important for everyone to understand, as this video notes, that all street drugs now present an elevated risk of overdose because of fentanyl's extreme prevalence. A spokesperson for Mayor Jim Kenney said, Philadelphia is debating solutions to the overdose crisis. Kenny supports proposals for supervised injection sites while the number of overdose deaths continues to climb, reaching 1,276 deaths last year. Another Mexican spot depicts scenes of drug users or homeless people slumped or standing unsteadily in Kensington. Now the knockos are adding fentanyl to hook you from the first time you use. Fentanyl kills, the narrator says in Spanish. It is 50 times more potent than heroin. 200 people die every day from using it. Don't risk it. However, fentanyl use remains relatively low in Mexico. Almost all is exported to the United States, while there are plenty of meth and crack users. Instead of offering help, hotlines, advice or treatment options, which in the public sector are almost non-existent in Mexico, Hope said they repeated the most aggressive US drug scare tactics of the 1980s. Kelly Garant, a peer care coordinator in Philadelphia for a non-profit organization, helps people struggling with addiction, as she once did, get medical and other services. They are actually in a state of crisis, and to be exploited when they are that vulnerable. It's just not acceptable, Garant said. You don't know whose mother or father or brother that is.